Welcome to the Windows and Computer Channel, and this is, first of all, a quick look at the rollout of the Patch Tuesday updates from yesterday, uh, Tuesday, January 12th, 2021, and also answer a few questions and talk about some of the security flaws that are actually important to fix within uh, Windows. Uh, so the first um, item is about rollout. Rollout seems to go well, and it's uh, interesting because I see all the comments on the channel, and uh, a lot of you have been answered, answering how long it takes on your own computer to install. So what I see typically is, depending on the machine you have, it could be from you know 5-10 minutes to uh, an hour, an hour and a half. So if uh, it takes an hour, an hour and a half, just let it do what it has to do, and uh, at some point it's going to be okay. A lot of you have been mentioning, well, you know, I see this uh, kind of going to 100% and then restarting. Um, remember that there's two phases to the install. When you download, the first is the preparation to the install, and that will go faster and usually go to 100. Then you have the install itself that happens, and that will be going from 0 to 100, and that's much longer. And, that, and then you have a restart that is the official install because uh, you know the updates cannot install themselves while Windows running so that's why it needs to restart um, so if it takes an hour an hour and a half don't be surprised it could be possible on older machines that it's much longer now uh, to answer a couple of questions concerning why so many security flaws uh, is it the, you know a problem with Windows and of course I get always a few people saying, well, you know, that's Microsoft for you, so many security flaws. Um, I would like to just say that there's as many security flaws in any other product and service and, and operating system. Um, if you look at Mac computers, they regularly fix more than 100 security holes in their Apple Mac software every month. And uh, Linux is the same thing. They have security updates every week. It's... Uh, it's not uh, specific to Windows. It's typical of every operating system that is human-made. So there are some flaws and errors in there that are discovered from time to time. Um, also remember that 83 isn't in Windows. Um, Windows itself has 13 security flaws this month, and all are important. That means there's no critical flaws, which is not too bad. And so Windows 10 itself at 13 security flaws is not that bad, actually, for this month. Um, the 83 number uh, has to refer to all the software that your computer has. So it actually means there's security flaws in uh, Office if you're using Microsoft Office and the different other software like Internet Explorer or Microsoft Edge and so on. Now, um, what is worth mentioning here? There are two critical security, security holes that are fixed this month that are important. One has to do with what Google actually has uh, disclosed in December. In December, Google disclosed a security flaw that was a, that should have been fixed in June of last year, but was actually only mitigated because uh, bad guys found a different way of actually exploiting it. So they wanted to um, uh, issue a fix last month. Didn't have time. It's included in this week's Patch Tuesday update for fixes, and that was exploited by hackers, actually. So that's why that's important to fix. One that is not known to be exploited by hackers, but that is important as a critical flaw also, concerns the Windows Defender or the Windows Security App that has a uh, pretty big security flaw also. So that also is something worth mentioning that you, know, you need to fix uh, because of the... Uh, way that it could actually exploit. Uh, it has a remote con uh, remote code execution critical flaw. So, you know, that's why you need to um, actually apply the updates. And uh, these are part of the 83 fixes uh, that we have this week. Apart from that, like I said, the updates seem to roll out quite well. And uh, hopefully, it will continue rolling out quite well. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching our videos.